Scared of dogs? So was Mike. Watch him conquer his fears and discover the joy of volunteering alongside his best friend Sarah at the animal shelter. So, let's embark on our today's narrative journey. Forget endless scrolling or sleeping in, Sarah's Saturdays had a different soundtrack. The rhythmic clinking of metal food bowls filled Happy Tail's animal shelter, a symphony of wet noses, wagging tails, and a chorus of barks and meows. Unlike her friends glued to their phones, Sarah craved something more meaningful. Happy Tales, with its furry residents, waiting for love and a second chance, was her Saturday happy place. This was where her weekends truly came alive. Today, Sarah wasn't alone. Her best friend, Mike, a lanky teenager, with a heart as big as a Saint Bernard, shuffled in beside her a nervous energy radiating from him. Ready to face the ferocious storm, Mike? Sarah teased, earning a weak smile. Mike, notoriously squeamish, around anything with more than four legs, had volunteered with a heavy heart, mostly to appease Sarah's constant pleas. Their first stop was the dog playpen, a riot of furry bodies, chasing tennis balls and wrestling playfully. Sarah, a seasoned volunteer, knew how to handle the boisterous bunch. She tossed a squeaky toy, eliciting a chorus of excited barks, and then knelt down, letting a fluffy golden retriever named Sunshine shower her face with enthusiastic licks. Mike, however, stood awkwardly at the edge, his gaze darting around like a scared rabbit. Suddenly, a timid whimper pierced the joyful chaos. In the corner, huddled away from the playful pack, sat a small, scruffy terrier mix. His fur was matted, his tail tucked between his legs, and his eyes held a deep sadness. Sarah's heart went out to the little guy. That's Whiskers, she explained to Mike, her voice softening. He's been here the longest. Nobody seems to want an older dog. Mike surprised her by stepping forward, a hesitant hand reaching out. Whiskers flinched initially, but then, with a tentative sniff, allowed Mike to scratch behind his ears. A flicker of hope sparked in the dog's eyes. Sarah smiled. Sometimes, all it took was a little kindness to crack open even the most guarded heart. The rest of the morning flew by in a whirlwind of furry activity. Sarah walked energetic Dobermans, played fetch with playful puppies, and even managed to coax a grumpy Persian cat out of hiding with some catnip-laced toys. Mike, initially hesitant, slowly loosened up. He learned to read the dog's body language, his earlier fear replaced by a newfound respect. As they cleaned the kennels, Sarah noticed Mike talking softly to Whiskers, promising the dog a treat if he stayed still. It was a small gesture, but it spoke volumes. By lunchtime, Sarah and Mike were exhausted, but exhilarated. Leaving the shelter, the usual cacophony, was replaced by a peaceful quiet. That was different, Mike admitted, a thoughtful expression on his face. I never thought I'd enjoy spending time at an animal shelter. Sarah smiled. It gets under your skin, doesn't it? She said. These animals may not be able to ask for help, but they sure know how to appreciate it. Mike nodded silently, a newfound determination in his eyes. Maybe this wouldn't be his last visit to Happy Tales after all. As they walked away, the gentle clinking of their volunteer badges served as a heartwarming reminder. Every wagging tail and grateful meow was a small victory, a difference they'd made in the lives of these animals in need. Sarah knew they'd be back soon, ready for another dose of furry friendship and the satisfaction of giving back. Congratulations on completing Happy Tales, a shelter story! Your dedication to learning English is impressive! 
Let's revisit the keywords and phrases from our story to help them stick. A quick refresher to boost your English skills. Number one, rhythmic, having a strong beat with a pattern to it. Number two, symphony, a harmonious combination of different elements. Number three, chorus, a simultaneous utterance of something by many people. Number four, Bluetooth, paying close attention to something. Number five, craved, to have a strong desire for something. Number six, lanky, tall and thin. Number seven, nervous energy radiating, displaying anxiousness or tension visibly. Number eight, ferocious storm, a playful term combining fur and ferocious, implying a challenging situation involving animals. Number nine, notoriously squeamish, known for being easily made to feel sick, faint, or disgusted. Number 10, appease, to come or pacify someone by acceding to their demands. Number 11, riot, a wild or turbulent situation. Number 12, wrestling playfully, engaging in a fun, physical struggle. Number 13, seasoned volunteer, an experienced person who offers help without payment. Number 14, boisterous bunch, a group of people or animals who are noisy, energetic, and cheerful. Number 15, squeaky toy, a toy that makes a high-pitched sound when squeezed. Number 16, eliciting, to draw out a response or reaction. Number 17, knelt down, to get down on one's knees. Number 18, shower her face, to cover her face generously. Number 19, awkwardly, in a clumsy or uncomfortable manner. Number 20, scared rabbit, a metaphor for someone who is very frightened. Number 21, timid whimper, a quiet, fearful cry. Number 22, huddled away, to gather closely together in a sheltered or protected position. Number 23, scruffy terrier mix, a rough, looking dog of mixed breed. Number 24, matted, tangled or twisted into a thick mass. Number 25, hesitant, tentative, unsure, or slow in acting or speaking. Number 26, flinched, to make a quick, nervous movement in reaction to fear or pain. Number 27, tentative, not certain or fixed, provisional. Number 28, flicker, a small, quick, and often unexpected movement or emotion. Number 29, crack open, to open slightly or suddenly. Number 30, guarded, cautious in having reservations. Number 31, flew by, to pass quickly. Number 32, whirlwind, something that happens quickly and unexpectedly. Number 33, energetic Dobermans, very active and lively dogs of the Doberman breed. Number 34, playful puppies, young dogs that are full of fun and high spirits. Number 35, coax, to persuade someone gently to do something. Number 36, grumpy, bad, tempered and irritable. Number 37, catnip, laced, infused or covered with catnip, a plant that affects cats. Number 38, loosened up, to become more relaxed. Number 39, read the dog's body language, to understand the signals that dogs give through their posture and movement. Number 40, newfound respect, recently gained admiration or consideration. Number 41, kennels, small shelters for dogs. Number 42, stayed still, remained motionless. Number 43, spoke volumes, conveyed a significant amount of meaning or information. Number 44, exhausted but exhilarated, very tired but feeling extremely happy and excited. Number 45, cacophony, a harsh, discordant mixture of sounds. Number 46, thoughtful expression, showing consideration and careful thinking. Number 47, gets under your skin, to become a source of irritation or to have a strong emotional effect. Number 48, appreciate, to recognize the full worth of something. Number 49, nodded, moved one's head up and down to indicate agreement. Number 50, volunteer badges, identification tags worn by volunteers. Number 51, heartwarming, emotionally rewarding or uplifting. Number 52, grateful, feeling or showing thanks. Number 53, dose of furry friendship, an amount of affectionate companionship from animals. Number 54, satisfaction of giving back, the fulfillment one feels from contributing or helping others. If you learned some new words or laughed along the way, smash that like button. And for more stories that will help you rock your English skills, don't forget to subscribe.
Check out the video on screen for more fun ways to learn English. See you next time.